What's up folks and welcome to another video on laptop customization. Today we will be upgrading a new addition to the realm of budget gaming laptops, the Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3. With a powerful AMD Ryzen CPU and a dedicated Nvidia graphics card, it can be an enticing choice for gamers and creators that don't want to break their bank account when getting a new laptop. We will show you in a thorough step-by-step -step guide how to open it and how to upgrade the SSDs and the RAM of this device. Before you start, make sure that you have all the right parts to open it and upgrade the IdeaPad Gaming 3. You'll need a normal Phillips head screwdriver and a guitar pick or a spudger. To upgrade the RAM, you should get a DDR4 3200MHz module in the SO DIMM form factor. Ideally, it matches the module that is already installed in the IdeaPad Gaming 3. You can check out your RAM clock with the tool hardware info or by opening the Gaming 3 and taking a look at the sticker on the side of the RAM module. Our version already came with 16GB of decently speedy RAM, so gamers don't necessarily need to upgrade right away. Serious content creators on the other hand can always use more RAM. To replace the main SSD, make sure that you get a PCIe 3.0 SSD. The pre-installed one comes in the 202042 form factor, which is a bit of an uncommon one, so your upgrade options in that form factor are a bit more limited. But there's a trick on how to install a bigger SSD in the 202080 form factor, which I'll show you later. There's also another PCIe SSD slot hidden on the mainboard of the Gaming 3 that lets you install a more common 202080 PCIe SSD. So get one of those for an easy storage upgrade. Before we open up the laptop, do not forget to shut it down completely and separate it from its charger. I know we're being super obvious here, but you won't believe the amount of people who open up their laptop while it's still in sleep mode. Also, ground yourself by touching the radiator or another metal structure in your home. Now we can finally come to the fun part of this little operation here and loosen the 11 screws that hold the back cover of the IdeaPad Gaming 3 in place. Once you've loosened the screws, pry the back cover open with a spudger or guitar pick of your choosing. You can also grab the back cover at the hinge mechanism and pull it upwards with a little bit of force. You'll hear the hook snapping out of their place, which will tell you that you're on the right track. Before we switch out or upgrade the components, let's take a short tour of the Gaming 3's inside. Lenovo has opted for a very clean and neat design. The two RAM slots are covered by some aluminum foil that should dissipate the heat of the RAM modules rather nicely. Let us now follow the heat pipes to the Wi-Fi card. It uses a PCIe 1 slot and can be replaced later on. Underneath it you'll find the main PCIe SSD in the 2020 42 form factor. But there's more next to it. As you can see Lenovo has left some space for a 2.5 inch hard drive or SSD. But in our case the cable you need to hook up such a storage option wasn't included. You can buy an official or aftermarket option for that although not in every country. Much more interesting is the upgrade option that lies hidden underneath it. You can upgrade the Gaming 3 with a full-size 202080 PCIe SSD and you don't even need an extra cable for it. The battery seen here is also not glued in and can be replaced if the need ever arises. All in all, the upgradability of this gaming laptop is still pretty damn good though. After our little tour, let us now start with the RAM upgrade by removing the existing RAM stick. Simply pull up these tiny levers on the sides and pull out the RAM module. Now put your new RAM stick in its place. If there's only one RAM module installed, just check out which RAM module your version is using and buy the same one for the second RAM slot. If you're a content creator who needs more RAM, then buy at least some that has a 3200 MHz clock speed. You'll be best advised to buy a kit of two RAM sticks to make use of dual channel. Especially AMD Ryzen processors can benefit immensely from a dual channel configuration with two fast RAM sticks. Now let us go down a bit to the PCIe SSD. Here you simply loosen the single screw holding it in place and replace it with your newly bought model. For Replacing the main storage option, you'll need a PCIe SSD in the 202042 form factor. Place your new SSD in the connector, press it down gently and tighten the screw to hold it in place. After you have removed the 202042 SSD, you can simply also remove the M2 standoff here and screw in a 202080 form factor SSD onto this new standoff that you already have over here. Please note, this only works if you don't have a 2.5 inch drive already installed. Don't forget to reinstall Windows from a USB stick and download all the necessary mainboard drivers from Lenovo's website. The more valid option for a storage upgrade sits hidden underneath the 2.5 inch end casing. Because right here, you will see another PCIe connector. Take out the 2.5 inch tray and switch the position of the screw mount here. Now you can put in a common sized 202080 PCIe 3.0 SSD like the Superfast WD Black. Just screw it in place and enjoy more quick storage on your IdeaPad Gaming 3. Now put the back cover back on and press it down on all sides till you hear a satisfying click. Simply tighten the 11 screws and you're done. 
do not worry if the newly installed SSD is not showing up in Windows right away. Up here, we have a video for you guys that shows you exactly what steps you need to take to make it work. And that's it. We opened up the IdeaPad Gaming 3 and upgraded its RAM and SSDs. I for one really enjoyed it. Hope you did as well and if there are any remaining questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Also ring the bell button and subscribe to our channel if you want to know when another upgrade video comes out. We'll surely be back with more English language content for you guys. So see you soon and have a good one.